crispy acarajé fritters, served up by smiling bayanas in traditional dress. Capoeira performers twisting through the air in mock fights. Some of the many sights awaiting visitors to Salvador, a World Cup city along Brazil's northeastern coast. Unfortunately, so is this. A police blitz on buses coming to and from a nearby slum. Male passengers are separated and searched for arms and drugs. Then women's handbags are checked. At the end, a brief explanation. We're trying to prevent robberies of buses, he says. Thank you and we apologize for the inconvenience. A popular tourist destination with pretty beaches, colonial architecture and a raucous carnival, it also has a somewhat darker side. In recent years, a surge in violent crime has turned Salvador into the murder capital of Brazil. Raising red flags as the city gears up for the World Cup just six months away. The stadium's been ready for months. They played the Confederations Cup here, but people tell us there's still a lot of work to do in Salvador. Crime is the main concern. People don't feel safe, says this man, mostly because of drugs. The government is worried, says another woman, but I think with the steps they're taking, we'll see good results. Then there's transportation. Construction on an urban train system began more than a decade ago, but still isn't operating. Salvador's new mayor says he's hoping to have it at least partially running in time for the football extravaganza. I think the balance is going to be positive, he says. The World Cup is going to allow people to see another Brazil they haven't seen. He says crime is finally starting to decline thanks to government crackdowns and it's concentrated in the slums. Will these problems affect tourists, he says? Do they happen in places that tourists go to? No. At least that's the hope for the thousands of fans who will want to follow their teams up close during the World Cup. Starting with the very first match in Salvador between Spain and Holland. Shasta Darlington, CNN, Salvador, Brazil.